<laughs> Find a seat if you can. Hello friends, this is David C. Drake, the Golden Drake, and today we are playing a bit of Hearthstone. I have kind of a special task today involving the Paladin. Uh, for one thing, you'll see I have this Righteous Flames quest, play three games as Paladin. Uh, but more importantly, as you'll see here in a moment, uh, we want to play a wild game. Here we go. Scales of Justice. This is a Paladin deck I made recently, uh, uh, featuring uh, <laughs> Murlocs and Dragons, hence the Scales of Justice. Anyway, you can see here 498 out of 500 wins. I am very close to my 500th win with the Paladin, and we're going to see if we can get that 500th win today. And uh, we'll find out if that requires going through three or more games. Uh, so I might complete that quest in the meantime as well. Let's find out. Hearthstone is a very fun card game. I grew up playing a lot of Magic the Gathering. And in my adult years, I've kind of drifted away from that game. But uh, uh, over the last few years, I got into this card game, and which I, I honestly did not expect to like. But I absolutely love it. I think Blizzard has done a fantastic job. It's just a wonderful digital card game, and if you're a fan of fantasy, I recommend this. I will fight with honor. It is a little bit on the silly side, of course, compared to like Tolkien-esque fantasy, and that's true of uh, that's true of most of what Blizzard does. They tend to do things that are very cool, but also a little bit on the silly side. That's why I thought I might not like it, but if you can overlook that. The fact is, it's a lot of fun, and the silly side is very charming sometimes, too. Oh my! I'm dealing with a Cthulhu priest, and this could be a big challenge. We'll find out. So far, no dragons in my hand, but that's okay. We'll get some soon enough. Ooh! This priest likes dragons, too. In fact, he even has the dragon card back. Year of the Dragon card back. I like his hero portrait. I think that might be from kind of a uh, kind of the Chinese themed pack that they had recently, which I was a little bit tempted to buy. Um, as someone who does speak Mandarin Chinese, uh, I do have a lot of interest in that sort of aesthetic. Anyway, we do already have our first dragon in our hand. We'll get another one whenever this guy dies, and uh, I look forward to using Mutanus the Devourer. Uh, as a matter of fact, I don't believe I've ever actually put this card to good use yet. This is one that was just recently added to my collection. Um, we'll see. We'll see how that goes. Uh, here we have the Scale Lord, <laughs> a dragon that gives your Murlocs Divine Shield. It was partly the Scale Lord that gave me the inspiration to create a Scales of Justice deck uh, with... Uh, just Murlocs and Dragons. Hmm. Reporting for duty. Hearthstone, I think, is a very well-designed game, as I indicated earlier. Um, I think they do a great job of sort of simplifying and streamlining a lot of things that were... Uh, you know, more or less uh, invented by Magic the Gathering. Uh, they they have uh, made some different design choices, many of which I do consider superior to Magic the Gathering in some respects. Um, I'm not going to claim that this game is overall in every way superior to Magic the Gathering. I think that would be a, a very silly claim to make because, uh, for one thing, they're, they're very... Well, th there are some necessary differences when you're trying to design a tabletop card game versus a digital card game. There's a lot of fun things you can do with a digital game that are not so feasible to do with a tabletop game, and vice versa. Well, let's see here. Let's go ahead and get a couple of random murlocs. The battle. Oh! <laughs> nice. I think I might get a win out of this match, although it's still a bit early to say. Anyway, one thing that's obviously easier to do with a computer game is things like this. Having uh, random effects. Summoning random creatures, 
things like that. Tough choices. Do I play the Scale Lord now or later? Well, I think I might as well play it now. The battle. <laughs> I have played some digital versions of Magic the Gathering over the years, and uh, some of them are a lot of fun. Um, but they definitely have some limitations, you know, with Magic the Gathering, the way that you can play cards on your opponent's turn. That's the main obstacle to making a truly well-streamlined digital game, because at every moment, pretty much, <laughs> you have to uh, have some mechanism for allowing the opponent to respond to what you have done. I think it's time for this guy to come out. And let's get rid of this guy. Good explorer comes prepared. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, let's go with this. Anyway, as I was saying, the fact that in this game, your turn and your opponent's turn are very discreet, very much separated. You know, you can only you you can only really do anything on your own turn. You cannot. You, you're never in a position for needing to make any decisions on your opponent's turn. So uh, that helps keep things flowing smoothly and progressing quickly. In a tabletop game, of course, it's not really a problem. It's, you know, you can simply verbally stop your opponent anytime that you want to react to a card they've played with, say, an instant spell or whatever. Well played. All right, so there is my 499th victory with the Paladin. Oh, closer to getting this uh, card back as well. They have a special card back every month, and the way they handle things now is you just need to get five wins in uh, in the, the normal play mode, and then you can get that uh, season card back. We progressed from chicken to what? Ah, leper gnome. Fantastic. Bronze nine. As you can tell, I have not been playing a lot this month, so yeah, my level is still a bit low. Uh, we'll be correcting that soon enough. There really is just a lot about this game that I find charming. Um, like I said, I, I though I wasn't sure I would appreciate the humor and silliness at first, I, I, I have, you know, it has really grown on me over time. I never did play very much of World of Warcraft. But I did play a lot of Warcraft 3, and I do have a lot of a lot of appreciation for the sort of Warcraft world in general, which uh, this game derives its cards from. All right, this is a pretty good starting hand. It's always tough to decide when to use the coin, or at least it is for me. <laughs> I'm definitely not an expert at this game, you know, I'm good enough at it, I know a thing or two, but I'm not like a professional level player by any means. Um, let's go ahead... Let's go ahead and bring this guy out. You gotta love the sounds the Murlocs make. Out of my jungle. 
Murlocs are kind of fun. I don't use them a whole lot, but they are fun. Uh, dragons have always been sort of a favorite of mine in terms of fantasy. I mean, obviously, if you've seen the name of my indie game development studio, uh, Golden Drake Studios, uh, I do have a lot of affection for metallic drakes and dragons. Let's see now. Well, I should probably go ahead and do that. So we can get rid of this blocker. One of the other very interesting differences between this game and Magic the Gathering is the fact that whereas in Magic the opponent chooses, generally speaking, the opponent chooses how to block, whom to block, etc. In this game you can directly attack minions or creatures uh, rather than just saying I'm attacking, you know, the enemy hero. Um, Let me think. Let's see here. Oh, I guess I might as well bring this guy out. So going along with what I was just saying, in this game, you know, you can choose with your minions to attack either the enemy hero or one of their minions, but if one of them has taunt, then of course you have to attack their minions with taunt before anything else. Um, some of you may be very familiar with uh, Hearthstone already, some of you may have never played it, I have no idea, so I apologize if I'm giving superfluous information. Um, now... Hmm. Let's bring out a couple of dragons. A good explorer comes prepared. Sure. Well, this is actually a bit of a tough choice. I hmm. I'll admit I probably should have played my cards a little bit differently that turn. Um, Actually, I, I got a little bit distracted uh, with <laughs> my thoughts about what I was talking about. Uh, and you are under pressure in this game where you only have a set amount of time during your turn, which is a good thing. But uh, sometimes if you get distracted that can really become a problem. Let's see here. Yeah, we better get rid of that guy. I wonder. Let reading drag. Overall, I think this match is going pretty well. I mean, obviously, for now, he has much less life than I have. However, things can change quickly. Druid decks can be very formidable, so I'm not sure what he might have up his sleeve, especially now that he's drawing so many cards. Uh, he seems to have a very taunt-focused deck. I can guess what some of the things are that might be coming out later. We'll see. Okay. 
Paladin is one of my favorite hero types in this game. I do also love Druid quite a lot, and Mage. Uh, there are others that I like fairly well also, but uh, uh, yeah, my top two favorites are probably Paladin and Druid. Mage and Hunter would probably come after that. You know, I do occasionally enjoy playing other hero types or class types. Uh, probably Rogue and Warrior are the two that I play least, but they can be fun too. Uh oh. You don't have much time, my friend. How many shenanigans can you get up to? Okay. Now what is he going to cast? Oh ho! So, although you cannot cast spells on your opponent's turn, you can cast secrets like that. I can see. Well played. You can cast secrets that occur on their turn. Anyway, there it is. My 500th victory with the Paladin. Nice. Oh, that is glorious. Okay, so now I have a golden version of this standard Paladin hero. In other words, it's an animated version. So, obviously, for people who don't care about Hearthstone, that's not necessarily such a big deal. It's just kind of fun. It's just kind of a fun goal to reach for for long-term Hearthstone players. I did earn this card back as well. That's cool. Uh, <laughs> and what level have we reached? Wow. Okay, so now we're a penguin. Yay, penguin! Like the mascot for Linux, which is the operating system I'm playing this on. I am playing this on Arch Linux. And uh, despite this being a Windows game, it's being played through a compatibility later called Wine on my Linux operating system. So we have the Linux Penguin here to celebrate. Fantastic. Okie dokie. We're getting closer to finishing some other quests. Anyway, so there it is. So now we have this animated uh, golden version of the Paladin Hero. That's pretty cool. And uh, I'll probably end this video here for now. But I appreciate you guys watching and uh, hope you all have a wonderful day and take excellent care of yourselves. Please do remember to like the video and subscribe if you want to see more of my gaming content and other videos. And uh, please feel free to support me on Patreon. You can go to patreon.com slash thedrake and that's where you can support me and all of my video creation projects as well as my game development projects as uh, the founder and, and lead game developer at uh, Golden Drake Studios. So uh, thanks again and take care.